bit of condition. <laughs> <laughs> Same. I thought we'd be. We'd be fighting that seat. Where all those people that came there? Yeah. Do these seats are sick. Are we going? Yeah, that's true. Are you giving pasta? Are we going to start now? Is it? It's for all the fat packets. Yeah. 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 Welcome aboard everybody to both our passengers on the Discover Ruapapu Rail Tour and our Spiral Tours passengers at the two front carriages of this train. My name is Sean and I am the train manager for our journey and on board today I'm ably assisted by Corbin and Graham with Tim, our driver, up the front in the pointy end. This journey is operated by the Glenbrook Vintage Railway. GBR Scenic Rail is responsible for the safe operation of the train today. On the end wall of each carriage is a safety card for your reference. Under New Zealand law, smoking is prohibited on board this train and this includes on the open end platforms. In an emergency, please follow the instructions of your train crew. You can solve the train in an emergency by pulling the emergency stop lever located at the end of each carriage. If you activate the emergency stop lever, then please leave it down and talk to a member of the onboard crew. We will shortly be travelling through a few tunnels down the rail route spiral, so for your safety, please do not activate the tunnel. Do not activate the emergency stop lever in a tunnel. 
The two towers we are travelling through today are a bit long, which means we need to make sure everyone has returned to the inside of the carriage and all doors and windows are closed. Once we've gone through the two tunnels today, you are welcome to move throughout the train and onto our open viewing platform at the end of the train in the current direction of travel. The maximum occupancy for the platform is eight passengers. Safety, please supervise your children closely when crossing between gangways or standing on the open viewing platform. Do take care when crossing between carriages and stay well clear of the moving gangways. Do not stand on those gangways. There are toilets in each of our carriages. Welcome to use these. For you, these carriages date back to as early as the 1900s and were designed and built in New Zealand. Carriages of the same type as we're travelling in today were used on long distance passenger trains from Auckland to Wellington until 2012. All of these carriages have been lovingly restored by our volunteers and by joining it with us today, you are supporting the work that we do. Final tour as passengers, you are travelling with us on board our Discover Rupahu Rail to a leg on the return journey home. We travel from Auckland to National Tomananui National Park and Arakuni once a month. interrupted by radio transmission. The Discovery Bay Rail Tours depart monthly. Our next departure is in August and again at the start of September. You can buy train only packages and in, there's a number of packages on offer taking in local attractions and scenery. If you're interested, please talk to the local eyesight or head to our website www.gvr.org.nz We are now travelling at the top of the spiral. We are just about to travel over our second tunnel today, Rodemu Tunnel Number 1. The tunnel is 29 metres below us. a single track railway spiral starting with a horseshoe curve, full loop, two tunnels and several sharp bends, overcoming a 139 metre height difference. Thank you. 
right now is the upper spiral tunnel. It is 96 metres long. Our next tunnel we're about to go through, which the track pass is 29 metres above us, is 384 metres long. During the construction of the central section of the North Island main track, a major obstacle arose out across the steep slopes between the North Island volcanic plateau to the east and the valleys and gorges of the Whanganui River to the west. South of Taumaranui, the terrain is steep but not unmanageable, with the exception of the stretch between Rolimu and National Park, where the land rises too steeply for a direct rail route. A direct line between these two points would rise 200 metres and a distance of some 5 kilometres, a gradient of 124. The area was thoroughly surveyed during the 1880s in an attempt to find route with a lesser grade, but the only viable possibility seemed to require a 20 km detour and nine massive viaducts. Even then, the gradient would have been over 1 in 50. The problem was solved in 1898 by a surveyor in the employee of Robert Holmes, Public Works Department engineer. He proposed a rail line that looped the back upon itself and then spiraled around with the aids of tunnels and bridges, rising at a gradient of 1 in 52. Though costly and labour-intensive, the scheme was still cheaper than the previous plan by Brown and Turner, which required nine viaducts and down the Papiritia River. The most remarkable feature is that even today there is no place to view the complete line, and by all accounts, Holmes visualised the layout in his imagination. The railway forms an ascending spiral southwards with two relatively short tunnels, a circle, three hairpin bends, and from the north, trains pass through Rodemu before going through a 200 degree bend to the left in a horseshoe curve. Climbing above the track on which they have just travelled, two sharp bends to the right follow, which the train then passes through two short tunnels. Trains then complete a full circle before continuing onwards to Wellington. Two kilometres up the line, two kilometres down the line, at no the track line distance is two kilometres. If you look to your right hand side, we're just travelling over the last section of the spiral before we go through our 200 degree horseshoe curve. You'll see Rao Remu on the right hand side. As I said earlier, from Rauremu station to the upper point of the spiral in a straight line distance as the crow, crow flies is 2 kilometres. However, on our rail journey, we will have travelled 6.8 kilometres and risen a distance, or descended a distance today, of 132 metres. right-hand side, the current direction of travel, you'll see the three points of the spiral, the three layers of the spiral. The middle layer is the section we just rec most recently travelled over. The upper section is the top of the full circle after the two tunnels. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think we'll shortly come through with a snacks and drinks menu, uh, trolley, I should say. Should have all received a menu for that. If not, ask some of the team. We have tea, coffee, and juice available for purchase, along with a number of other snacks, meals, pies, chips, muffins, and slices, etc. We take cash, then it us as the reception allows us. Now we've travelled down the Rauhima spiral. It's a fairly simple journey through to Tomaranui. So we travel down the Kākahi Bank, through to Piriaka, Mananui, and then into Tomaranui. 